Alright, welcome back to another episode of Deadly 30 on Sore Gamers. Oh my god, Corner. that we're going straight into the action there, I guess. Cornfields don't play around. So we've just, uh, I guess, uh, oh shoot, what was that zombie called in Left 4 Dead? A boomer? Yeah. Where they explode all over you? Yeah, so we've uh, encountered yeah, a new zombie. So have you ever noticed how bad things always se seem to happen in a cornfield? There's a lot of like terrible things that happen in cornfields, yeah. Like it's a very common location you see in horror films, yeah. and horror games, and it's just the fact that, hey, you're surrounded by big stocks, you can't see anything. And th there's things stalking you while you're in the stocks. Stalking in the stocks, that makes total sense. Uh, yeah. Um, makes me think of that, uh... Uh, Mel Gibson movie, uh, Signs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a cornfield. A another inside. bad, terrible thing happening in cornfields. Yep. I mean, obviously you got Children of the Corn. Ugh. That one just blatantly says it. Yeah. What else do we got? Uh, Jeepers Creepers 2, I believe it was. There's bad things happening in cornfields yep. on that one, I think. There's been a lot of, a lot of stuff. And they even had cornfields in Left 4 Dead. They did? There was a corn, well, or there's... I think it was Left 4 Dead 2. I think there was cornfields in Grand Theft Okay, because there's a, a zombie game that I got for my Apple TV, uh, and it's just a... Oh, nice. Oh, there's a car. Nice. That would be perfect. Yeah, it's kind of a, a bad excursion today. Nothing really good happened oh. at all. Oh, don't get shot on. There we go. Okay. Check forth, check forth. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yes, yes it does reek of death. God, I can imagine when a zombie apocalypse, like just walking out in just no. normal everyday air would probably be one very disgusting to smell. Could oh, oh yeah, it'd be terrible. Maybe as bad as my dog. I think I think she's crapping herself every like five minutes. I don't know, you smell that? Nope. Nope. I'm just in tune with my dogs, I guess. <laughs> Smell it before it even comes out. Yeah, apparently. That, that's all up to date. Okay, cool. Woohoo! That's all up to date. Cool. Didn't collect much money that time around. No, not too much. I'm just going to take myself up to 200 ammo. So this is for the third character. It's, um... She's got a shotgun. Or... I'm assuming that's a double, yeah, double, double barrel. barrel. Yeah. But why? How do we un? How are we supposed to unlock the the other guns and whatnot? Like I haven't seen anything for that happening yet. So much fatties. Some of those baddies are be waddling up. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Oh, oh, nice. Okay. So, yeah, there's fatties. Oh my god, there's fatties everywhere. How do we heal this fence? They do, they blind you and then send the rest of them in. Yeah, so you can't tell what's going on. There you go, before they even get close. Yeah. I hate the living fatties. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, oh, that was lucky. That was very close. Oh, I think the fence is about to die. I gotta fix that. Oh, that fence just fell. Oh, okay, good. It didn't hit me. Sounds like they're eating that other fence, though. Yeah, I'm trying to get back over there. 
Oh, boomers. No, no boomers. Oh, there's a lot of good ammo right there. Alright, I gotta go get it. Alright. So I was watching The Walking Dead today, actually. Uh, before you came over. That, uh, that show. That's a great one. That is. Yeah, so I've added that into the to the server, so you can check that out. Do you watch that show at all? Oh yeah, nice. Are you up to date on it? Yep. I actually watched it last night. Yeah. Yeah, I watched that this morning. That was uh pretty interesting how that that's gonna play out now. Right. Because now I wonder if it is that they're gonna try to incorporate things from Fear the Walking Dead into it, like at some point. Eventually, I like. This was just my theory on what will happen. So it shows in the previews for fear that they're going to be on a yacht or some kind of boat or right. something. I mean, and this is very, very far-fetched, but what do you think about them eventually, say, sailing around? Around the world? Well, around yeah. to, like, say, where Rick and them are. And well, why, I mean, they're kind of in Virginia territory, I think, right now. Yeah, they're yeah they're in Virginia. So well, I mean, in order for them to do that, they'd have to go all the way down to the Panama Canal, or all the way down around, down and around uh, under Brazil and yeah. South America. And all that, yeah. Is that is that Cape Goodhorn, or is that Africa? That's Cape Goodhorn. I can never remember. I think that's Africa. Um, but I mean, either way, yeah. Either that's, way. I mean, it's a it's a far fetched theory about right. actually happening. Well, and that would take a season or two for them to get out there. So oh. theoretically, what you could do is you could have like future Fear the Walking Dead cast um, show up. At, yeah. And then it would be like, okay, oh, well, wait, no, it's only been 18 months or something like that. There was a really interesting uh, video done that I saw the other day where this person was talking about how uh, they predict that the show will end soon because the whole first episode up until the last episode has been two days. Oh, really? Right. Whereas before, like, the episodes were, were taking a, a longer period of time. And so, and the thing is, like, the, the, the guy, like, was analyzing everything. And each season has slowed down in the amount of time and reduced the amount of time that they're actually portraying over the, the whole period of oh, the show. Yeah. And, um, oh, nice, there's somebody else over here. Oh, there you go. Will you marry me? We make many children, huh? Am I really going to have to put up with this? I will cook you boards. Oh my god. <laughs> awesome. Alright, the whole gang's here. What's this fight? Anyways, yeah, so they, uh, so they're saying that they're also looking at the zombies and how it is that they've changed over the, the six seasons, and that the they're going through the stages of decomposition as a human body would, and that they're theorizing that the the Walking Dead, the show may not be over, but the dead themselves will be over within at, at most another season at this current rate. Oh, wow. Because they're almost at the very like end of the decomposition cycle. So... It's pretty, pretty interesting. Yeah, because I have noticed that. Yeah, they have changed quite a bit. Right. I mean, obviously, you have people that died at different times. And, right. You know, so. Oh shoot! I totally did not pay attention to the time at all. Oh, where's my mouse? And it is nighttime. Oh. Um. Well, it's a good thing you got that uh, third person with you, but I think uh, Russian dude's about to die. Oh, there we go. Yeah, and I just used all of our health potions. Come on, guys. I gotta go team number one. Uh, let's shoot. We are, we are wrecked. Oh. We, we, we just are dead. We're... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think this is the end. I think that was the end. I, I'm, I messed that up. <laughs> well, then. Well, that was, that was interesting. Uh, all right, guys. Well, we'll, we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that that was a much different uh, interaction than when I was playing as the Russian guy. The Russian guy wanted to marry her. All right, make borscht and babies. <laughs> oh, 
So we need to find a tank or something if we're gonna build the new barricade, which we sorely need to build.